Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Bucky Etefe. A huge shout out to my country Nigeria as she turns 60. Happy Independence in Nigeria. What's amazing is that as we celebrate 60 years together, I will be reviewing Becoming Nigerian, a guide by Nathan John. Nathan John is a Nigerian writer who by far has been at the forefront of telling what's going on in society in the form of Telling what's going on in society, he in short, he's a satirist. So this book is written in a way that it's like an observer's uh, this book is written in a way that is an observer's perspective, like a flying on the wall on the wall. And I particularly particularly loved how much humor that's loaded in this book. And I think John is the kind of author that I respect and love because of how much technique. How the approach he uses in, your, in the, the approach he uses in his writing is unmatched. Unmatched. This book I was laughing all through, and and the, as the, at the same time I was laughing, I was just trying to reflect on how far my country has come in the last years over the decades, and I just say I hope that people will pick up this book and read and enjoy it as much as I am enjoying it right now, and I hope that they would see that there are a lot of issues we need to address a lot of issues and okay let me just start with the dedication here and he said to all who feel personally attacked or offended by something in this book with love and i was already smiling then i moved on to the acknowledgement and he said i'd like to acknowledge nigeria with whom i am still in an abusive relationship <laughs> and I was really laughing and I went through the table of content and table of content it starts from the beginning on how Nigeria was created. I feel like everyone should pick up this book and just enjoy it. And he didn't pick it in any writes in a way that it's going to be boring and you won't get bored in one minute. Yeah, he says, never ever explain satire in the introduction. So he starts with in the beginning, the gospel according to Nigeria, chapter one. In the beginning, the British created the northern and southern protectorates. Now, the nation was formless and empty, and darkness covered our collective identity. And the British said, let there be Nigeria, and there was Nigeria. And the British saw that Nigeria was good for them, and they separated the ruling class from the serfs. And the British said, just as we have a vault between us and you, let there be a vault to separate the rulers from the citizens. So the British created Nigeria in their own image, in the image of their colonial rulership, they created it. Oppressor and oppressed, they created them. And there was independence from the British, and there were coups and counter coups, and there were military dictators. And the decades passed, and the military rulers stripped their garbs and uniforms and transformed into civil civilian rulers. And they declared, all things have passed away and all things have become new. And it just goes on like that. It talks about not just the leaders or not just the country that the country or the contraption, the European contraption, contraption of Nigeria. He also talks about all walks of life. He talks about the church, religious, religious bodies. He talks about our leaders, of course. And he talks about the working class, the non-working class. Every single person was pointed at. And he said in his description here that in, there's a Nigerian saying that there's a saying that when you point one finger, there's four pointing back. So he, it, this book was not just a jab at the leaders. Oh, leaders are so bad. The leaders are so bad. The leaders are a problem. The religious leaders are a problem. All sorts of leaders are a problem. No, he pointed at every single one of us that okay, you are a mechanic. But there's a chapter here that says how to be a mechanic, how to be a journalist. And he just tries to tell you that, although yes, the government is bad, but you to see what you're doing. Look at that, okay. See, you have this, you have that. And there were so many moments that I just kept on laughing. How to be a politician, how to be a Nigerian police, how to be, you name it. I was, I enjoyed every single part of it. And I was like, oh my God, and other has disgraced, and other disgraced us, like, just in a fun way that though like you know that kind of thing that he he sort of mirrored the entire society and i love how the book was put in very simple english it's obvious that Ernathan had no time 
to um, maybe to to bore us with bogus language. No, he just went straight to the point in very clear and simple English that anyone can pick up his book, read, and laugh and laugh and laugh. Did I say how accurate he was in his in his in his observation and in his writing? It was on point. But I found myself like, oh yes, <laughs> yes, because I just kept on screaming yes reading this book and I feel like everyone should pick up this book if you're Nigerian or not read it read it in a time job by by really becoming Nigerian sorry a guide back in a time job and you won't regret it honestly see uh, you won't regret it at all no, there's no beat I read this book in a sitting so if you're looking for a page turner something that's like a fast read you can read this book you enjoy it and what Nigerian see you he won't <laughs> I I didn't know the I was he, he was even kind I didn't know that he was even kind enough to for our non Nigerian brothers and sisters out there. He was kind enough to give common Nigerian phrases and expressions and what we actually mean. I read one out. I want your when a Nigerian says I want your honest opinion, the Nigerian actually means keep your unflattering opinions to yourself, shower me with praise and adulation. Preferably something I can quote. Or uh, when the Nigerian says I am coming, except when <laughs> during intercourse, I am leaving good. The person actually means I'm leaving goodbye. So when the Nigerian says I'm coming, the person actually saying I'm leaving. Okay. So do, do, if you want to learn about the amazing, 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 I feel I feel like jokes apart and without any bias, I feel like Nigerians are the most amazing people you meet. And really funny. Watch pick up this book and enjoy it, and just see Nigerian through the eyes of Ina and Nathan John, which is very accurate, very very accurate, very 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 accurate observation. And just tell me how much you laughed reading this book, cause I couldn't stop laughing. I was just I couldn't stop laughing, and I was glad I read Epitome so that I read read it. So happy, 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 happy independence to my home country, 60 together, and I hope and pray that a lot of things I will address in this book, years to come, which will all be a thing of the past, hopefully, fingers crossed, and until next time, thank you for watching this video, and I do hope that you will pick up this book and read, yes, I'm repeating myself, pick up this book and read, and thank me later, yeah, so goodbye.